Hey, America, I'm back. I lied. It was uh, Boreo. I smelled it. Get right over it and it smells sweet. When it's done, I'm sweeter than the jasmine short. I got a whole bunch of different rices. I was like, you know. Okay, what am I doing? All right, we're making our beer batter. Okay, so I'm going to set you on this can of Old Bay. That's the, f oh, that's an okay bag. It's not a funky size bag. And we're going to do it as simple as. fork and the beer just like that it's the grease hot it's the grease hot but that's it it's as simple as that and I did it in a clear thing so you can see all right and that was like four ounces of beer maybe three ounces see how it's foaming up okay that's our leavening agent right there the beer itself, the froth in the beer. And so I mix this flour into it. All right. It'd normally be better if I had a bigger thing and use a whisk. Yes, it would take less time. But I just wanted to use something clear and actually, the I, I chose this because I'm trying to save product, being beer, <laughs> flour. Uh, all right, now our grease is getting hot. Um, that was our broccoli. I can take a second to do that. Ouch. So I made some contacts today during my 13 mile run. I sang happy birthday to Judy and me and all the kids sang happy birthday. And then I went and played whoop. <laughs> I said, kids, you ever seen a whoop? A whoop whoop. <laughs> and, um, I'm glad I'm, yeah, I'm frying on a day where I'm very able to not fall over, everybody. So anyway, so I'm, <laughs> whoa. <sighs> I'm trying to lose my food. All right, so, ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, I'm out in the woods. <laughs> I'm out in the grass. The grass is like this tall, so I can get down, and I'm like running, and then I go whoop, and then I go back down and go. Whoop! And these are all preschool kids, right? And they're all behind the fence over here behind the preschool. And so I'm, I'm in this field next to it where I used to live, right? And I'm like jumping up and down in the field, right? And people are passing by. I wonder what they're thinking. I'm like, look at that guy. And he's a whooping. <laughs> the kids loved it, eh? And then they sang happy birthday to me because it's my birthday tomorrow. And, um, yeah, chef's throwing together a little barbecue. And let's test our oil. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit I need to be closer for all this to work well. Because it's a quick action thing. And I gotta get my grease caps on. Uh -huh. The best way to get started is to start. I still love doing this show, guys. I really do. I mean, if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be in my career, and I love my career, and there's not many people who really love. I mean, I just I get off on cooking. You know, I do things that I enjoy, man. So, okay, that's right. I want to show you this. So, we wanted to see if the batter's too thin or too thick. See that big explosion? That's a little too thick or too thin. So, if we're going to thicken it up a little bit more with well, just a little hair of flour. And that should actually see how much I'm putting in. Not much at all. All right, I'm tightening it up just to here. Okay. Now, I made that a little too tight. Hair beer. And we got this grease hot. Two. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to put you over here. So you can watch the action. I'll try to pick you up when I can. But you're going to see that I'm going to be using multiple hands. And I need my fry spoon. And I got my fry catch. And um, we're ready to go. Okay. So 
take, dip, okay, I can hold you, Whoa. and then we're going to hold it for a second in the oil, okay, move it, and then we're going to let it go, all right, the reason why you do that is so it don't stick to the bottom, all right, so it doesn't fall down to the bottom, and you want the tempura to start to, to like fry outwards of the beer batter, all right, so here we go, hold it for a second, let it go. And I'm putting these thick pieces in first, all right. Ouch! That was hot. There we go. All right. You see that one almost needs to be turned over already? I'm going to do this in two stages. I'm going to cook that other thick one, and then I'm going to do those thin ones. Okay, I'm going to do one more thick one here. I can get it in the corner. Alright, so I'll set you over here. Quick hand dry. See how that one is? Look at that, that's beautiful. Yeah, well, turn the heat up again. It got too quiet. Let's turn it on, blast it. Got too quiet. And it got too quiet, it starts, instead of frying, it starts soaking the grease up, and that's not what we want to happen. We want this beautiful tempura fry that we have going on right now. So, there we go. Hear that sound? That was only about 10 degrees too cool. All right, now we're frying again. Yeah, you can go right from having a wonderful product to all of a sudden um, you let the temperature go down too much and it becomes this greasy, nasty thing that just you don't want to eat. But you hold it just right, you get beautiful pieces of fish like that. All right, all right see how that one started browning now? Good. So it should have been a little hotter. I shocked it down pretty hard and I turned the temperature down. Shouldn't have done that. Should have kept the temperature on blast. All right. And now, now that these are heating up, I'm gonna get these crumbs out of here. Over there. Whoa, hey baby, hey baby, hey baby, hey baby. All right, you're done. <laughs> Start spitting and spitting and whatnot. This done. Oh, that's not done. That's done. All right. It is what it is, what it is, man. Home frying. Ouch. I'm getting bit. That sucker said, We got hot, man. We got hot. All right, so those two got to be done then. And we had that one I had to put back in. I'm let that one go too, another second. And ow, 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 ow! Sucker's just spitting on me. I got to put you down. <laughs> so you saw the process. We're going to take this and see how close I came with my beer batter. Dangle, dangle, dangle hard. <laughs> dangle, dangle, dangle hard. So yeah, man, trying to make connections and get a sound man and put together, get some bands, talk to the old brothers about doing, you know, kicking this town up, man, having a music festival for free and barbecuing, and I'll do the cooking, and the brothers, you know what I mean? I mean, just bring it all together. This, this town used to kick butt 15, 17 years ago with the music, man, and needs to come back. I just got to say it, man, Springfield time to come up man you know let's have a big old let's have a big old party man <laughs> let's have a big old party 
and let's do it right. You know what I mean? I want everybody to be able to come, the kids and all that too. All right, turn that back on high. All right, that piece is starting to brown a little bit of rain. Okay. But look at these beautiful pieces we have right there already. All right, and those are going. I'm going to shut you for a second.